What the heck? Where are we? I don't, I don't know. I remember we were in the car and we were driving. Some jerk had his high beams on. Yeah, hi guys. Hate to break it to you, but you're dead. What? What are you talking about? I have the it's perfect driving record. It wasn't me, it was that other whoa, guy. Whoa, 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 hold it. Look, I don't know how you guys died. That's not my department. You're in death's waiting room right now. This is basically where ex-mortals go to get your afterlives sorted out. You mean, like whether we're going to heaven or hell? Basically. Well, which is it? Yeah, just point us to the pearly gates and we'll be right out of your hair. See, that's the problem. Uh, we kind of lost that data, so we don't know what to do with you. Are you kidding me? We, uh, recently uploaded our sole destination data to the cloud, and you know how it is. So rather than storing the eternal destination of our souls on site, you handed it over to a third party? Cool it, Hotshot. We're trying to recover that data right now. But in the meantime, we can't assign you an eternal destination, so you'll just have to wait here. Please, have a seat. This is totally unprofessional. I don't believe this. I can't believe the nerve of this guy. We've got some cutting edge entertainment lined up for you. So just put up your heels and this will all be sorted out in no time. Okay, all right, well, here we go. Are you scared? Nah, Jesus has got this covered. Let's just wait for that guy to come back. Ugh, public domain movie. Feels like first grade all over again. However, your committee will continue His eyes to are beautiful. In hopes to present a definite recommendation at next month's meeting of the Civic Association. Thank you, Mr. Hanson. You fill out that suit Mr. quite nicely. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Willis. I want to talk about. Uh, uh, I'm so high. I think we need they can all tell. Here on the west cops, side. I'm surrounded by cops. Uh, we need it because uh, because we need a place for our boys and girls. Mm. Play, a playground. Mr. Willis has an important idea to express. Oh yeah, nothing's but more important than playgrounds. What about this town's crippling badger Finding problem? Finding the exact words to fit your ideas is one of the first steps in building your vocabulary. People can be interested in new ideas when those ideas are Look, expressed sir, your body in well making my words. eyes burn. Will you please surrender the floor? This use of exact words to communicate your ideas applies to written I've been waiting all night. When will he be words. home? C could it be? C could it be? Is it? Is it him? It's him! Hi, Dad. <sighs> Would you be interested in... Oh, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Something go wrong at the meeting? Yes. I saw death today. I sort of made a... What's on your mind, son? I thought you might like to read my term paper. Why Before would I, I want to read that? Book. Do you know me at yes, all? Of course. Our public parks, monuments, or playgrounds. Huh? Son, are you a commie pinko? Much of the juvenile delinquency in our community can be traced to our lack of public playgrounds and our lack of a planned recreational program. We are not without our public parks, but they are landscape monuments rather than playgrounds planned for the direction of youthful energy into character building channels. Why, Pete? <laughs> you cheeky devil. You express your ideas very well. But uh, this isn't the way you talk, is it? Nothing's ever good well, enough for you, depends. is it, Dad? But you see, this is a term paper, and... When you write well, a term paper it, like when you're Christopher Walken... You use words that fit the occasion. But here, the words you use... They're so vulgar, they son! Good, and uh, they seem to be the right words to say what you mean. Well, that's... I... Well, that's what I... Where'd you learn all those words? Those 50 cent well, fancy see, pants city boy words. Notebook. It's a good way to learn new words to increase your vocabulary so you can express your ideas better. Whenever I come across a new word, reading or listening to someone, 
I write it down. I also collect Later, Pokemon. Later, I put it in this notebook. Let's see. I write down the pronunciation and the definitions of each word. And then some synonyms. Mmm, cinnamon. But then, of course, I try using the word. Using the word correctly a few times is what really fixes it in your vocabulary. But it can't fix the sucking the void of knowing you'll die alone. You be more explicit. Well, you certainly surprise me with your vocabulary. Yes, indeed. Be more explicit. That's what the wife and I need. So Mr. Willis began a vocabulary notebook in a business-like way. First, he considered Suicide. the context in which the word was used. Now, where did I hear that? Uh oh, from Mary. Here come the hallucinations. She was talking about redecorating this room. Dear, I think we ought to put a balance over the window. It would make it more dramatic. I think we should put a mirror think over the, the bed. Would be effective. Hmm. Balance must be some kind of decoration. But do I have to bother with all these special words? I mean, do I really Maybe love my I'd wife better. that much? I certainly want to have a say in how the house is decorated. How else can uh, I hang up my fireman calendar? Balance. Short Maybe this guy should be addressing his acute tunnel the vision. Of a window. Hmm. No, sir. I don't like it. The balance would look good up there. Maybe this will help me understand what Mary's talking about. What's that other word she's always using? Cuckolding? What does that mean? Balance had only a single meaning. Other words, like vacillate, have many meanings. Get out! The only way to tell which meaning is intended is from the context in which it is used. Oh, look, honey. He's nodding like he understands Synonyms, what the word context means. Waver, oscillate, under... Wait a minute. This is a pyramid scheme by those darn Merriam-Webster boys. Nearly the same thing? But still, they're different. Nobody can learn all those words. I'm going to bed. Yep, that's right, folks. Our hero is giving up after learning just two words. But next morning, Mr. Willis found he couldn't escape unfamiliar words when his wife called. Oh, John! Get back in here and yes, finish dear. what you started, you beast! I'm not satisfied yet! All right, dear. Anthology. Why does everybody in this family use these fancy words? In the Man, it's newspaper, used ultimatum. Found words that look Surrender familiar Dorothy. Enough, Either these drapes go or I do. Their meanings weren't explicit. Even in his work, he began to be aware that he used words that he could not define precisely. That it is not feasible to allocate necessary production facilities. Feasible. Allocate. I'll show them all! I'll burn this place to the ground! Excuse me, Mr. Willis. There's a gentleman here from the ABC Printing Company. He wants to discuss their new electrotyping process with variable type... Put that away, and, sir! Um, I'll tell him you're busy to come back later. Suddenly, what appeared to be huge bats all swooping and screeching around the car. Bring in the milk. Bring in the milk. Bring in the milk. Explicit. You know, Dad. Explicit. Use the force, Dad. A good working vocabulary helps you to be more explicit. He sure is well, good at spelling I words he doesn't I know. Yeah, impressive. Anthology. An anthology of modern plays. This is the book Mary wanted. Oh, -ho. so that's what an anthology is. It stinks. Now, what else came of my trip to the library? Each of us has certain interests which we need to share with others. That's why 4chan exists. If we know Early? special vocabulary, we will understand what people are talking about, and other people will understand us. This book will help Mr. Willis have a say in the decoration of his home. Without it, he's powerless and oppressed. This book, on the fundamentals of printing, will help him in the conduct of his business. His business as a counterfeiter. Books on special interest subjects help us build the vocabulary we need ah, to talk the language Now to of snuggle others. up with a copy of Fifty Shades That's of Grey. That's not the only language <laughs> I'm going to talk. At the next meeting of the Civic Association, I'm going to sell my idea. And my, my body! My name isn't Willis. The chair recognizes Mr. Willis. Begrudgingly. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, 
for many years... Boo, now, you're not funny! Our city council has wavered... Put Carrot Top back on! Parks Get off the stage! ...and beautiful but useless parks. The time has come to present the council with an ultimatum. Ooh, ultimatums! Ultimatum. Everyone loves those! Demanding for the west side... Yes, people can be interested in new ideas. Case in point, the snuggles or the cornball. ...and effectively. Increased knowledge of words has enabled Mr. Willis to think through his ideas more logically... Yep, that's my dad, writing at a fifth grade level and everything. Audience. We will show them that it is feasible, that the city budget is nothing more or less than a plan for spending our money. A plan which can and must hmm. be adapted to I wonder how our my needs. cows are doing in Farmville. Words that we choose carefully to say hmm. what we mean, choose for the audience and the occasion, help us gain support for our ideas. And not only in speaking. Effective use of words helps us think and write more forcefully and with more interest when we prepare term papers and other yes, school assignments. Yes, Wonkin is back with term papers. Command of words helps us contribute to debates and discussions. We communicate more quickly and more effectively. Helps us create more effective Being propaganda. Use of War words, is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. For jobs. Whenever we're around people, a good vocabulary helps us say what we mean and understand what others mean. Pete has developed his skill in communication through words. Cool. Just as Mr. Oh, man. Willis has. Is he still talking? Just as you can. By being alert to words. By using words that say exactly what you mean. By building your vocabulary. To see that program carried out, then we can achieve our goal by going before the council and making our demands Explicit. More breadsticks. Oh, Chris, it's a nice one. Chris, it's a butter. Oh, there's so much head in these buns. Oh, Chris, it's a butter. Chris, it's a butter. Chris, it's a butter. Okay. Well, it's over this. This should be over there somewhere, right? Uh, excuse me, are we going to get any help here? It's been a while. What's your ticket number? Ticket? Nobody said we need it. Oh, yeah. It's right over here. 90,864? Sounds right. They're serving 82 right now. You should be up soon. Eternally speaking, that is. I'll load up another move. 